Hi again everyone, it's Rob from BurnWorld.com. Uh, today I'm going to be answering a few questions that I've received through my uh, FAQ page. And this one has to do with copying DVDs or copying DVD discs straight up using Wondershare Video Converter Ultimate. Um, a few of you were confused with how this was done, so I'm just going to do a quick video showing how this is, uh, how this process is. First of all, you'd start the software and then load the disk that you want to copy. And the disk that I'm copying is a uh, episodic DVD, which ha which contains uh, it's it's basically a TV show and it has a has a, the uh, different chapters listed here, but this will work for these types of uh, DVD discs or regular DVD movies. So I'm going to going to choose the whole film, and what you do is choose a video format that you want to convert it to. Um, you can actually use this later um, for other uh, devices that you have, like a cell phone or a smartphone or um, iPods you know stuff to gadgets of that nature so just choose a video format that you know is supported so I'll just choose mp4 and then once you're done you would choose burn to DVD alright so from this screen you would choose a, a DVD menu that you want um, if you don't want a menu just choose no menu um, by choosing this, the DVD will just uh, start playing automatically in your DVD player, and that's what I like to do. But if you wanted to customize it with these, you know, built-in menus, you can go ahead and do that. So in this case, I'm just going to do this. And just choose um, the DVD drive that you want to burn it to. This works best if you have two drives. So what it'll do, it'll read from the disk, or it'll read from the drive that 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 you have the original disk in, and then you can burn it to a second drive. But if you don't have a second drive, you would just choose DVD folder for this step. And then once it's done, you would burn this folder back to the original drive. So I'm going to do it on the fly and just choose my second drive, and you hit start. And as as you can see, the initial estimated time is 42 minutes to copy this disk, but uh, this usually speeds up um, as the time goes on. So normally you can copy a disk in around 20 to 30 minutes. All right, so that's basically it. Um, that's copying a DVD disk using Wondershare Video Converter Ultimate for Windows. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll have more videos later on.